And I'll tell you another one that I want to help him on too, and I think Andy Gibb was taking the lead on this. I'm going to give him uh, a lot of credit. Um, you guys did a, a yeoman's job, and I'll give Russell credit for putting that boom across the, the homemade noodle boom across the trash can. Yeah, that's actually our second experiment, and uh, it's demonstrated that if the water is low, it does catch most stuff. If you get a big rain, sir, it yeah, no it goes over, it goes under. No chance. But you guys have presented us with a, 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 a few designs mm -hmm. um, that I think would be effective, and uh, the cost is not bad at all. I think it's somewhere in that $3,500 range. Not that bad. So uh, I would love to experiment with like A Creek or A Stream or two and, uh, and see if it's a, see if it's a good tool to fight against the trash. Yeah, well, this uh, role there's, there's Osprey, as you know, there's GEI works, and there's Watergate. Uh, Watergate is uh, used by a matter of people that's five out of the Chinese groups, and about that many. Uh, they use all over the country as far west as San Francisco, and they're the same general idea, except they've got a steel cable over the boom, and they've got a 12 inch net sticking down below the boom. Yeah, it's long enough to put that in a bag, so the trash all comes out of the side. 